Hey everybody and welcome back to today's video. So we're about to do my hair. This is what it's looking like. Freshly washed. I use the Lucetta Hydroluronic Acid Collection. So I use their shampoo, conditioner, hair mask, and hair serum. That's the only thing that's in my hair right now. I got this little concoction that I made. It's blue grease. The white blue grease with coconut. Pink hair lotion. Some Monet, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, hair oil. And then some Design Essentials, I believe. Hair oil. I'll pop a picture of everything on the screen. I mixed it all together. This is what it's looking like. I'm about to part it for me. I think I'm going to just go ahead and do my natural just to keep it like short, quick, simple. Because it's already like 10 o'clock. It's 10.26 p.m. The heat protecting I'm going to use is this Silk Elements Strength and Silk Coconut Heat Protecting Cream. Pre-made, however you pronounce it. Um, it's for relaxed and natural hair. It says it reduces fringe while smoothing hair helps protect from damage. I used to use a spray like this, but they had this one where it was like a cream. So you can just like pump it and add it to your hair. So I picked this one up to try this one out. This is my hair tote right here. I have this Cuban twist hair, but I don't want to use it. We have one pack of this pre-stretch 72 inch pink hair. It is three bundles. I don't think I can do anything with that. So I'm not going to use it. We have some Water Wave Passion Twist. Passion Twist would look good. But I don't think I have too many more packs of this. Because I've just been pulling from it. For like the bubble look. We got two bundles. Maybe a bundle and a half. Oh yeah. Because that one is used of this hair right here. It's 42 inch. This is what I was thinking, this spring twist. We have one pack of this, it's Expressions. We have some purple 50 inch, one little black bundle. We have this 20 inch, three bundles. I don't think that's enough. We have this pink spring twist, which maybe I could do some peekaboo or something. What is this? This is 50, 50 inch. And that's like a bundle and a half. So maybe I can do this and do something with the purple. So I don't know. I think I'm going to do spring twist with the black and the pink. Because I really don't want to do braids right now. So I think I'm going to do the spring twist. Alright, here's my hair blow dried out. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's not even because the last time I put mini twist in. Which, like I said, was a few weeks ago. I went and actually snipped every end of it. Where I saw like straggly pieces. Which originally I was like, oh, this is fine. You know, I don't get my hair straightened often. But then my grandma low-key convinced me to like get my hair blood iron, silk pressed, whatever you want to call it. When I get my ends trimmed. So that the woman could accurately like cut all of my ends. But, you know, even if she got to take off like an inch or two, maybe three. I might just have to bite the bullet and then just keep it in like protective low maintenance hairstyles. Because I'd rather my hair be healthy. I'm really trying to like take better care of my hair. But I do see hair growth. This is what it like blow dry. Like if I could take it, I could take a straightener and get it more straight. But I'm not doing that if I'm going to get the other person to straighten it for me. I was supposed to come on here and like show y'all half of it blow dry. Half of it like not. I'm not going to put the spring twist hair in. I'm just going to do my real hair. I'm going to have to let my grandma dust my ends really quick though. And then that way because I want her to call maybe tomorrow. And see if she can like book me an appointment for like later this month, early next month. But I don't want to put the spring twist in here and then have to take it out if I get an appointment. It's 11.09 and I still have to take my sister faux locks out for her that I installed um, a few weeks ago. So yeah, I'm going to take, I'm going to start, I'm going to let my grandma start parting my hair for me and then I'm going to take my sisters out really quick and then I'll be back. When I'm like halfway through the process and then I'll come on camera or whatever. Up and leave. Take a lot of courage just to live out your dreams. Bigger picture I could see if I just close my eyes. Have the foresight to believe. Time don't move backwards, it speeds me to the Charging forward when I open my mouth, though I may not know how I know I was born to sing. Travel the world, raise baby girls, bury my best friend. I'm in a I ain't gonna tell you no lie. I ain't record much of me doing my hair. This is the hair. It looks like I only got 10 twists in my hair. My hair is very like. If my hair is not full, it's very, I feel like on the fine, fine side, like it's not very thick. I feel like it's on the like thin side. It's not extremely thin, but I feel like it is. I had my grandma do my parts 
bigger this time because I didn't want to be here all night. And I think I'm going to try to leave this in for about a week and a half and then wear it as a twist out next week. That's that. Thanks for watching. Bye. Now I got to take... Don't walk out my room. Come back. Okay, nice. Now I got to take her hair out. Really? My edge is not done. Oh, well. So now I'm about to take my sister hair out. I look like a freaking 12-year-old. But you know what? I feel like my twist out is going to be worth it. And it is a bit oily on the oily side. Oilier than what I normally do. But all I did is put some of this and then this braiding gel. But I don't like the cake gel on my um, head. Especially during my twist. Because I be wanting to take them out and wear the twist out. So I don't want it to be like, you know, up there with lint and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway. Okay, so it's been about a week or a week exactly today. Today is the 15th, July 15th. And I don't remember what day I did my hair, but I want to say it was like last Monday. Anyway, it's been almost a week or just a week. And <clears throat> since I last did my hair with y'all, and I had planned to have this video out by now. But um, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what my hair looked like. So this is what the twist, I'm going to take my bonnet off, show y'all what the twist and everything looks like. And then I'm also going to see how it looks as a twist out because it's time for me to like do my weekly wash and everything like that. I also have this little camera light. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and set this up behind the camera. My other one is charging and then hopefully that's working by my phone as well. This is what it looks like fresh out the bonnet. You can see I've oiled my scalp twice in the week that I had these in. If y'all hear anything in the background, just ignore it. I've oiled my scalp twice since putting these in. I haven't added any more of that blue grease mixture that I made, but you can see my hair still still looks fairly shiny. I am going to add a little bit of oil just to the twist now, but I haven't done that. I just added oil to my scalp. Um, but that's what it's looking like. They're a bit on the free side because I have been like laying in bed without the bonnet. So I'm just going to grab my hair serum and apply a little bit a little bit of that to the twist as well. So I'm going to apply a little bit of this to my scalp. Like I said, I had my scalp oil twice. But I'm going to add a little bit of this now to my twist so that it'll kind of like help reduce the frizz. And now this portion of the video will just have music over it. So just enjoy. Is my I like to call these unintentional twist outs because I don't put twists in my hair to wear as a twist out like I don't style it knowing that I'm gonna wear it as a twist out it just always happens to come out fairly well um now this is what it's looking like really really cute I think I'm gonna get some oil sheen and just kind of spray it and y'all if y'all have any tips on how to maintain my twist out let me know because I be pulling it up into a pineapple but it starts to like shrink and I would like to keep my length a little bit. But that's what it's looking like. I don't know if y'all can really see it on camera in great like detail. I just pulled these little pieces to the front. Uh, my hair is not actually cut to a bang. But 
I always pull them to the front when I take my twist out and give the illusion that I have a little bang. Um, why cut it if my hair just falls fairly well like this? But yeah, that's right here. I do want to do a curly cut, but I'm so scared because then if I straighten my hair, which I don't, I rarely ever straighten my hair, like hardly none. But I heard people say I go through like this awkward stage. So I don't know. Leave me suggestions. If y'all know how to like maintain this, give me suggestions in the comment section. But I think it turned out fairly well. I feel like it'd be cute if you like, if I like took a little ribbon and like tied it, like a little scarf. I don't have any of that to like accessorize it. I may take my pick and just pick it at the root some, but let me know what y'all think. Okay, I'm gonna stop pulling it because it's already like frizzy and stuff. Um, but that's my hair. What do y'all think? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit the post notification bell so you don't miss when I post. Let me know what other videos you'll like to see in the future. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.